What is up guys, Apathy back in the building with another video today. What I'm going to be talking about is the worst placing I've had in a long time. And a lot of you guys know, Envy attended MLG Las Vegas and the Overwatch team actually ended up winning the tournament. But Call of Duty team, on the other hand, placed 9th through 12. And I don't want to say 9th through 12. Well, I don't deserve that. We don't deserve that. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, it's all the same shit. It's a bad placing. So, you know, I don't care, man. I placed top 12. That's ex I'm just going to say it like that. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed and I'm pretty sure some of you guys are too. And I really feel bad that I let a lot of you guys down. You know, I wish I could have done better. I wish we could have done better. But you know, we did put up a really good fight and I'm still kind of proud of the team that we gave it our all. This sucks that we were under practice. Now this is the worst placing I've had in a long time. The last time I placed this was like during the end of AW throughout Black Ops 3. Other than not qualifying for, you know, for the league, which is not necessarily a tournament or uh, a placing tournament but other than that you know i've always placed i placed like top eight throughout the whole year and that was a pretty big thing for me so placing 9 through 12 is obviously a wake-up call and that's gonna happen no more so before i continue with this video i want to talk about the event a little bit and talk to you guys you know what went down and kind of what happened throughout our matches just a little quick review and i want to say thank you everyone who came by and you know who who stopped by and took pictures with me or just said hi or said what's up you know it's always awesome to see the fans and people who support me you know in person and talk to you guys a little bit you know because it really means a lot a lot of you guys are really cool a lot of you guys are you know just giving me some kind words and showing love and i really appreciate that so our first pool play match was versus the gusu crew now this is a team that beat us online during the 2k they were pretty dominant when they beat us but you know online being a factor and them having their first seed and you know hosting two of them a hard a respawn maps obviously gave them sort of a little bit of an advantage but we knew you know not to underestimate them they're obviously underdogs they're obviously a good team uh from what we've seen and from what they've been doing online so you never want to underestimate a team like that we came you know prepared not 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 really prepared as in prepared practice but you know we made sure to give it 110 percent we made sure to give it all our effort and not take them lightly at all so we ended up winning the hard point pretty dominant fashion about 120 points uh i remember we had this three piece you know with a turn on i was getting hella hyped but uh second map we ended up winning like six two six three in the S D, and then we ended up winning the uplink by like i don't even remember the uplink to be honest but it was a it was a pretty sort of easier match uh not too hard you know i i could tell they were just a little little nervous a little out of their element you know playing in the land compared to playing online it's a different experience it's definitely different not everyone has that like land experience and like fully confident you know that's something you build over time so we won our first match 3 0 we're feeling good we're feeling nice now our next match was versus phase now this is a team that won the psx invitational and they're a team that obviously were looking really dominant top three team easily and we were a little bit concerned you know we're obviously you know we obviously know that it's going to be a hard match and we're not sure we could take them out but we're going to our best uh first map we do a pretty crazy comeback we went first map hard point we all got hyped and a big reason we won that was a slasher picked it up i think he wasn't doing too well and he started out of nowhere towards the end started popping two pieces he got like like one or two three pieces he got full streaks and he was just turning up for the squad and you know a big uh big reason we came back and won that map was because of him so we ended up winning the first hard point and then the search and destroy uh it was just crush the search and destroy we don't have any search and destroy is destroy like you know practice really we barely have any and that's obviously because we're under practice and you know i went on my honeymoon and wedding and stuff like that but it's just it is what it is so we ended up losing the search like six three you know we lost that map so we're tied one one we go into the uplink uh we lose to like last like 20 second campbell dunk that's how they beat us because we we're up like three two and they just get this dunk and win you know i da! You don't understand how mad it gets me when people win due to specialists. Like, if Campbell wasn't a thing, they wouldn't have won that map. And it just, it sucks. You know, it's, it really does. But we're going to get better. We're going to get better. Then fourth map, hard point, retaliation. Lost to, due to small mistakes. Uh, Could have gone could have gone either way. I believe we lost the map by like 30, 40 points. It was a close match throughout the whole thing. And then we just fucked up in like one, two rotations that we could have easily held. And we would have probably won the map or went, got close to winning the map. And just, it really hurts. But there's nothing you can do about it, you know, just move on and learn. So at this point, we're tied 1-1 in our pool. Uh, we can easely make it out first or second as long as we beat the open bracket team. Elevate EU, which is an EU team now, ended up getting into our pool. And we knew it was going to be a good match. They've been playing really well from what I've heard. And I'm pretty sure they, they went to PSX, Invitational, place like Top 4 or something like that. They put up a really good fight. So we knew it was going to be a good match. So the first hardpoint versus Elevate, we win. The Search and Destroy, a lot of you guys witnessed that. John dropped 18 kills and we lost last round 6-5. It was a lot of miscommunication during that round. You guys don't understand. It was... 
It was really bad. JCap left their flank open and we got flanked and then they broke our setup and they got the kills. Even after we got first blood, I'm pretty sure, even if we didn't get first blood, we were still in a really good position. And it really sucks that we lost like that after especially after John dropping 18 kills and doing so well and keeping us in that keeping us in that map. But you know, it is what it is. So we lost the second map. Then we lost the uplink by 20 second camo one or dunk or something. Yes, I hate specialists. Camo, I hate you because you won again. The team wins again with like 20 seconds left all because of camo. And guess what? I was in a good position to shoot him. Guess what? He had camo. If he had camo, I would have killed him and we would have been fine. We would have won that map. God damn it. We got to work with our camo or something. Fourth map, hard point. They win. They won 3-1, they beat us, it was really heartbreaking considering we won the first map, second map we choked so freaking hard, John was, oh my god, I don't know how the fuck we lost that, third map, they win, we're, we're winning again, they win because of 20 second camel dunk or whatever, with 20 seconds left, we could easily potentially 3-0 them, and it just really hurts, but those are little mistakes that we will fix over time and I know we'll get better. So we ended up getting the third seed in our pool, since Elevate beat the Gusu crew, the Gusu crew got the fourth seed, so we're top 20 as soon as we got out, I wish... And the crazy part is if we would have got out winners, we would have been into pool C and would have had an easier bracket in winner's bracket compared to being in any other any other pool because pool B and pool D, in my opinion, were a lot harder. So we just gave up on top of just choking so hard in the pool. We gave up a pretty good opportunity to potentially have an easy top six, uh, you know, at least getting to top six pretty easily. So now... We're top 16, no, we're top 20, playing for top 16 versus TK. Now, this match wasn't going to be till like 11.30. They said 10.15. So, we finished our match versus Elevate around 4 o'clock. Our next match was at 10.15. We didn't play our match till like 11.30. Now, this is obviously because the team before us, before us, I think it was TK and Panda, uh... I think Panda was up 2-0, and TK ended the reverse comeback last map, last round, and they went all the way. Obviously, if they didn't go that far into the into the game, we probably played would have played a little bit earlier, probably like 10:45, 11. But still, it kind of sucks. But we played at 11:30 versus TK. Now we were just trading maps versus TK. We won the hard point. They won the search and destroy. We won the uplink. They won the hard point. We won the last map, game five. Uh, I dropped 11 kills, 11 and one to be exact. Uh, my team played played really well too, and we ended up winning 6-0 versus them. So that was good to you know to, to not get top 16. You know we're top 12 now, and we move on to Sunday, and you know hopefully go f go for top two or something. So we ended up playing LG Luminosity Gaming for top eight. Now obviously. And honestly, compared to every other match that we're playing for top eight, we got the hardest match. Obviously, LG. The, in my opinion, we definitely had the hardest match, and it kind of sucks. But I'm ready. I'm ready used to this shit. Last year, I dealt with this shit almost every event, so I'm used to it. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just go to my match. I'm get 110. percent If I gotta beat, I gotta beat the best to be the best. That's my motto. So, LG. Probably kind of similar situation. So first map, we got the hard point. I won like 26 and like 14 or something like that. And I just had a, I was playing really well. I just, you know, I was just playing really well. My team was playing well. The only person that played too well was JCap. He knows it. It sucks, but it, you know, it happens, man. Nobody can be perfect. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of time to be really consistent. And then obviously, and honestly, we don't have that practice yet. So JCap didn't play too well, but I, I was playing really well. My team was playing uh, John, you know, a slasher playing pretty well. And we just lost first map by like 12 points due, due to miscommunication, due to little small mistakes. And it sucks. It really does. There was like, if I just made a call out or if there was one more call out being made, you know, oh, hey, watch this lane. Hey, watch bottoms open. Like, if just little things, like, one or two little things like that, we would have won that map. Like, that's how close it was. That's how bad we choked that map. But it is what it is. We lost the map. We won a second map. S&D Crusher. Now, this is a map we've played multiple times. We've lost it. We lost it almost every time during that tournament. The only time we won it was TK when I dropped the 11-1. And that's finally when we got into the groove of things. And we're like, all right, we're good now. So we ended up beating them like 6-2, I think. 6-2, 6-3 on that map. Then it was Uplink Precinct. Now, this is a map we haven't played all tournament. Or we probably played it once. And we, I, I came out with the fire, man. I went like, I hate saying stats, but I went like 35 and 22. Something like that. Something crazy like that. I had another another crazy game. I was just playing some wall because I really want to win, man. You know, when, I'm, when my back's against the wall, I always try my best to play my best. And obviously, you know, I should be doing that throughout the whole tournament. But it's just it's just this gear that kicks in for me. And, you know, really just makes me turn up to another, another level. But I, I played really well. Uh, little mistakes again. We lost by like two points that map. Uh, there was a camel dunk that Slasher went for. We only got one point out of it. There was just so many mistakes and so many little things that cost us that map. And another map, JCap could have played better. You know, he could have slayed a little more. He didn't do too well. But, you know, it's all good. So we ended up losing that map. We're down 1-2. Now we're in a tough spot. We had Scorch, Hardpoint next. This map, 
we need to work on. We do need to work on. I didn't have that good of a game. Slasher had didn't have that good of a game. The only person who had a pretty good game was uh, JCap. He played pretty well throughout the whole map. And uh, John just had like an average game. So throughout the whole map, again, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Tied, they're up 20, we're up 20, they're up 10, they're up 50, we're backed up, tied. And it was just like that. And then we had it. We ha At one point, we had it. We were only down like 15, 20 points. It was like 210 to like 190. And we were in second hill, rotated, ready to go. This is a money hill. And unfortunately, J Cap and Slash were pushed up. We talked about this many times, but we still did the same mistake after I've told them many times. But they were pushed up. They died in lab, left me and John in a 4v2. They break the hill. We pretty much lose the map. And it really sucks because that hill right there, that's a money hill. We could have got at least 50 seconds, let's say, with them contesting and stuff. We would have been like two, 235, 240 to like 210. And we just we could easily won that map, and it just really hurts and it sucks. But you know, losing is learning. We're gonna we're gonna fix our mistakes. But we ended up losing the LG to three uh, one. I was obviously pretty mad, especially that I had a pretty damn good series and we somehow still lost. Like I was turning up, but I think uh, Slack was playing pretty well for his team as well. So we kind of almost canceled each other out. And you know, it just really sucks to lose like that. But I wasn't I wasn't that mad because I knew that you know going to this tournament we were gonna give it our all. We're going to go hard. We're going to try our best to do the best. But at the end of the day, we're under practice. We're obviously not the best team right now. And, you know, we could have maybe got top three, top four. But it's it's like, like I said, we're under practice. So, I mean, it's motivation. You know, we're going to go into the next event, go hard, practice a ton. You know, try to be the best. And we're just going to work on all our mistakes. And I know, like, this tournament was a was like a big eye-opening for me. I, like, I saw the potential. Like, I saw the potential for us to be amazing like at least top three so let's see what happens i just want to say thank you again for everyone who supported us this weekend i'm sorry if i disappointed you guys or if, my, if us as a team disappointed you guys you know i i love all the envy fans i love all the apathy fans i love everyone who supports us every day you guys are amazing and we're really going to try to turn we are not we're going to try we are going to turn things around for next event we're going to come out the fire you guys are going to see a brand new envy and i hope we're going to hope and i'm a hope to make you guys all proud so this video apathy hope you guys enjoyed today's video Thank you for, you know, just tuning in and watching the whole thing. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Apathy out.